Hey, so, um, Todd, let's bring this back to you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, as a referee, um, and, you know, we, we both coach, you know what I'm saying, basketball, and, um, you know, at times, coaches, you know, we, we, we get after it with right. the refs, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times, I know when I get after it like that, you know, I just got the back of my players, you know what I'm saying? I'm make sure they know I have their back because I always preach to them, don't say nothing to the officials. That's my job. You know what I'm saying? I got y'all. Y'all just worry about playing. I'll take care of the, you know what I'm saying, the yeah. back and forth with the officials if I have to. You know what I'm saying? So um, what's, what's that line for you that has to be crossed for a coach to get assessed with a technical file? For me, it's the direct talking. Okay. Like, you're terrible. You're this, you're that. Right. Like, when you direct it to me, that's when I got to get you. Okay. okay. Because you're not really worried about the game no more. You just constantly on me. I might have missed one call. Right. But you harping on that one call that you did this and you did that. When right. those coaches start to point the finger and all that, that's automatic for me. Gotcha. So um, when it becomes personal, like what you're saying, when it yes. becomes like a personal attack. Gotcha. Exactly. It's three other refs out here, but you just still, still on me. On Every time I come right. in my area, you, you just on me. So now I'm on you. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Now let me ask you this. Um, if, if as a coach, I think ref maybe made a bad call, right, or whatever. Um, so, so I say something to him, and you know I get after him a little bit. Does that ever like sway that ref? If he knows, like I did blow that call, coach is probably right. Is there such thing as makeup calls? Like, can you admit to that? Like, you might no. like, you know what? Nah, I take Let me that get him enough. Nah, nah, no nah. such thing as a makeup call. <laughs> it's something called that's called game management. Okay, that's what okay. the old refs would tell you. It's called okay. game management. Okay. You know what I mean, not breaking into jail, not majoring okay. in minors. We got our own little sayings okay. that gotcha. only we know. Okay. okay. So it's, it's ways to correct the situation. Okay. Just don't make that same, my bad, four or five times. Gotcha. So it's, coach, ah, I might have kicked it. Gotcha. But you can't have three or four of those. Gotcha. You might get one or two. Gotcha. And with some coaches, you might just get one. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? With you, I'm only getting one. Right. right. With crazy, I'm not getting none. <laughs> Come on, cousin. You got to get at least one. I'm not, I'm, one. Not, I'm not getting none. <laughs> you can't get one. Listen, you don't have to worry about that. I'm retired. I'm not, I even do it from the stands, though, I think. I yeah. Know. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> And part one, he said they know you. Know. You, Fidel, and Pooch. They know all y'all, man. <laughs> I'm working on that. <laughs> working on that. Now, here on the Birdcage Show, you know what I'm saying, community, the city, the village, especially our hometown, yes, is big. Sir. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? It's big. I mean, it's one of the biggest <laughs> community activists Cameron has ever seen. You know what I'm saying? And she does a great job at it. And it's coming from a, a genuine spot because she really cares about her city, as we all do, and the kids and their well-being and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Checking out your Instagram pages and just, you know, just knowing you, yeah. um, you know, being at some of your events and things like that. What made you put an emphasis on wanting to have these open runs for, for the youth and, and it should, even for the adults, <laughs> you'll throw something up like, yo, open gym tonight, yeah. three to six, six mm -hmm. to eight, whatever it is, yeah. come on through. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what, what led you to that? You know what I'm saying? Like what motivated you to want to do that? I looked at social media and I saw a lot of trainers, a lot of like private stuff. Mm -hmm. And these guys were being selective to who could play. Okay. I know growing up, if you wanted to play, you could play. You might have had to wait four right. or five hours so the good cats got the court. Right, right. But you could still play. So I wanted to provide a platform for people to just play basketball, no matter what age, no matter what talent level. Let's just come on out here and let's just hoop. I mean, I'll put the 30 and over, 30 and over, the 40 with the 40. Yeah, I mean, whatever the case may be. Yeah, we know we need the 55 <laughs> and older. Now, yeah, because here's the thing. You do 55 and older, we come through like the young bucks. Right, right, right. And we right, looking we good. Some, right, we get some bucks. Ah, that's that <laughs> part. Young, we can be like, we can shine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I'll be the lower end of the old heads. <laughs> so young, when you making that like schedule that. next year or whenever you do it, you are 55 and older. We can make something happen. Yeah, definitely, 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 <laughs> definitely. But, yeah, I definitely, and, and cousin, I, I know you love when you see that, you know what I mean, the, the open runs for our youth. Right, right, right. Because, because you know, a lot of programs have been cut and things right. like that. And it's not even just programs because we're athletically charged community, mm -hmm. and we don't have the space for the average kid that may go to a D2, D3 level. Right. We don't provide that space. Mm -hmm. And I talk about that all the time because every kid's not going to be 
top notch, but they still have the potential to go to another an, another level. Right. And we don't provide that space. So Taj provides that space for those kids that need to still kind of get seen. Right. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. And even if I have to go the JUCO route right. and then to a small, a small D2, he provides the space. And I like that because in our city, we don't provide that space right. Right. on our high school level for those kids that are not stellar. That's you know what I mean? And and we got some kids out there that may not be the best, but they're good enough to go D2, D3 or, 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 or HBCU. Mm -hmm. But we don't push those kids. Right. We only push in our community. We only push the, the real big stars. Right. If you ain't a big star, there's no place for you to shine. Right. And I like that Taj gives them an opportunity to still shine. You know, he's at the clock. People right. come out. People get to see. You know what I mean? And the best... The best um, advertisement is word of mouth. True. And it be some guys in there that may know a coach from a small school and be like, yo, you know, it's a young man that be at the clock at Taj's mm -hmm. joint, come check him out. And that's why I like the platform because it gives the space for those kids that may not be, you know, those, right. those complete stars. And that's what it's about. That was my goal, to just provide something for those who, the hidden gems as we call right. it. Right. right. A lot of kids have been seen through open runs. Right. A lot of kids have come to my park and like, yo, Mr. Taj, guess what? Uh, so and so just called me from this school, or you know, so and so, or even with Bird. Bird might have some guys like yo. Right, right, yeah. I mean, Bird got a couple guys on his team that got a lot of guys don't know. Right. But yeah. they came out and played in Cherry Hill. Right. And right. I bet you by the end of the summer, yo, Bird, who that? Mm -hmm. Who this guy? Who that's, that guy? That's so that's, it's all about providing platforms for those who everybody don't know. Right. And another thing is transportation. Everybody can't get down the highway. That's a great point. I'm trying to put something for kids in their back. I know growing up, my mom was working. My dad was working. There wasn't nobody going to take me nowhere. So I had to go to Randall Cunningham Center, YMCA, place at the bus and local things were going to get me. Yeah. I know you, Coach, Brian Gregory, y'all all drop the kids off in my runs all the time. Right. And it's all about providing a platform for the kids that's local and they can stay homegrown. Right. We ain't got to go out there. And and real quick, you brought up a name. Um, shout out to Brian Gregg. My God. We're definitely going to have to have him on. Brian Gregg is a, um, a gem amongst young um people who want to play basketball and Brian Gregg is a guy that a lot of people don't know but he picks up he feeds he's a young 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 Caucasian male mm -hmm. but he's really really passionate about the young um kids in our city and he picks up drops off he's at the crock with him he's at the runs he feeds them he you know he takes pictures of him he shows up to their games he's mm -hmm. you know and Brian is young and he's he's energetic and he's active and I, and he's on Camden High's coaching staff so but it just doesn't stop there for him he always looks out for the kids that may not be those right. stars or right. those shining stars kids that you know he knows so we definitely got to bring Brian on but yeah that's, yeah, that's, yeah, my, that's you my, know. my guy man like me, me and him, me, him coach Wop. Certain guys, we just we do it for those who ain't the top notch. We do it for right. those who just trying to get there, who right. just want to play. Right, right. right. And mm -hmm. shout out to uh, uh, I call him LT. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to WAP because uh, right, he's in that grind too. He's another one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying and um, and people you know, forget about those folks that's you know, and yeah, putting that work for, that puts for in the work. And and, and and that's what's up. And that's what we need more of in the city you know what I'm saying and, and we need more of the people that's going to put in the work and less worrying about people that notice that they're working that's exactly. a fact you know what I mean exactly. because you know nobody's never going to appreciate all that you do True. and here on the birdcage we try to highlight the ones that people don't know about or people don't really know that's putting in the work True. you know and the people that's behind the scenes because I know what it feels like to be behind the right, scenes right, and people right. not know half of what you do right, right, you right. know what I mean and, and it doesn't matter if people know or not because you're making a difference in a child's okay, life. Sure. So I'm going to drop this gem real quick. Yes, sir. When the world is over and everything is said and done and God decides to call you home, don't your bank account don't matter, what you drove don't matter, and where you live don't matter. The only thing that matters is if you change the life of a child. You remember that? That's facts. That's super facts. Because that's, that's one of my rewards, especially on the education part of it, the teaching part, is when I see those kids you know, years later, you know what I'm saying? And they got their families and they're just so proud, like sitting in Walmart or something. Like, Coach Bird is my wife, he's my two kids. And it's like, like, and you know, they say like, yeah, because what you told me, I remember it. Right. And, and it finally clicked in and stuff like that. It's just like, and it, oh, okay, they weren't listening. And, you see, and I, <laughs> I didn't I, make a difference. Right, I definitely agree, a young lady <laughs> who had <laughs> no basketball talent. Mm -hmm. She played for me at Charter. But I kept her coming out as a freshman, kept her coming out as a sophomore, kept her coming out. Eventually, my starters made me mad one game. And y'all know how I get when I get mad. 
I took them all out. We was losing by like 40. Didn't matter. I took them all out. And I said, I would rather put a bunch of girls on the floor that's going to listen to my commands and understand what I'm trying to accomplish than a bunch of people that's not going to listen. Took all the starters out. So I put my bench in, and one the young lady was on the bench. She gets in, and she scores. She's now an adult woman who's married with multiple kids, and she told somebody, y'all don't understand the impact that Coach Tracy had on me because she never let me quit. Right, right, right. You know, and it was crazy because she had no basketball talent. <laughs> but, you know, I, it, it worked, yeah, yeah, you know, you got to put that, that work in. In a varsity game. In a varsity game as a that. freshman. She going to remember that and, bucket. And, and, and that's why. Like, You're important. Yeah, exactly. You're important. You're giving kids that opportunity that they'll remember. Like you said, and we said they might not be top tier. No. And they might not even go to JUCO D2 or D3, but just the fact that they was out there. And they get to play. Compete and get to play. In an organized setting. Right. You know what I'm saying? People watch. And, and it gives them the option. The like, it gives them the like option. They can start like, yo, I played. But, but <laughs> like, I also, saying? too, say all the time, and Taj, you can s correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. There's a place and there's a school for everyone. Even though everybody's not for school, there's a place in the school for everyone, Most right? Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be, it ain't where you play, it's how you how play. You, play. Yeah. you know, so we gotta remember that when we're not, when we choose not to platform some of our less yeah. stellar athletes, right. Right. just know they still can make a mark. True. Yeah. They can make a mark. You Perfect. definitely can play, and then don't forget, we come from Camden. Mm -hmm. This is legendary here. Yeah. Everybody want to have Camden on that program, yeah, whether it's William yeah. Patterson, whether it's D3. <laughs> sure. I got a Camden kid. Right. He might, he, he might have played for Camden Charter and scored right. four points a game. Right, but. But Camden, New Jersey, <laughs> yes. we going to rep. Yes. His mom going to be there. Yep. His grandma going to be yep. there. You get a Camden kid on any college, high school level, anywhere, we coming. Yeah. His nah. folks is coming. That's very and we support. We go all around the country to support. Yeah, nah, that's Camden. We got them, we got them all over. We be that's trying, yeah, we, and be trying. To, I be trying to make a schedule. <laughs> right, right. But right. this year, unfortunately, <laughs> to my young people, I'm not doing nothing to after November 12th. Oh, yeah. So if any sports <laughs> happen between now and November 12th, which is my 50th, <laughs> love y'all, but I won't make it down. See y'all on TV. <laughs> See y'all on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> now before we wrap this thing up and get out of here. Um, just talk to our, you know, I mean, student athletes and, and even guys that the ball might have stopped already for them. Just let them know because I know I've seen, um, you know, a push for more officials. I mean, yes, I know definitely. it's never enough officials. Never, you know what I'm saying? Enough. So just talk a little bit about um, before we get out of here, you know, that option. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you took advantage of the option. It's there. Um, it was at Brandon uh, Wilson's head yeah. football coach. Mm -hmm. He was an official yep. before he became um, Wilson's head football coach. You Al Smith so, and his right, brother right, Jason, right, right, who right. were, yeah, exactly. yeah they, they're they coaches now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. referees, I'm sorry, right, referees, right, correction, right, referees. Yes. Like, talk about that process briefly. You know what I'm saying? Just I mean, like, it's there. I mean, basically, it's a, a six-week class. I mean, you sign up, you go every night. It's a couple hours, really long. Not really too expensive, but it's definitely worth it mm -hmm. it shows you the game from a different angle it shows you how what you don't know about the game right yeah you know i mean and it, it's not just basketball we got guys doing lacrosse we got guys right. doing field hockey all kinds of sports it's definitely there you can make some decent side money you can learn about the game and still be connected to the game still you love connected to the game it's yeah, still there it's definitely there you know what i'm saying that's it's one way to stay connected right. to the game right. if you're not, and you know what I'm because so, of who i am i'm going to say um for our young athletes of color, get involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure you know, get involved. Facts. We can't, we can't be part of the fight if we not in the ring. Facts, that right? Facts. So get involved. Y'all want to argue about the refs? Don't they don't right. understand? They don't look like us. Get involved. You're right, come on. <laughs> Make a difference, you come man. On. Right. Or just just take the class and learn. Right, right, right. You right. Stands, see, you know, right. like you don't know what you're talking about. No, right. You don't know. I'd have gave a couple about. cast the rule book. Right, right. <laughs> like, I'd have pulled up on a couple. Yo, here, here you go. <laughs> now, what, what we talking about? Right, what we talking about? I didn't got phone calls two in the morning. <laughs> oh, bro, my bad. <laughs> my fault. I always thought that was that was self, <laughs> but that was tops. We right, right, right. Ain't like no part. Ain't no tops and no self and no no real basketball, man. Come on. You know, in my defense, yeah, I be trying to explain that to them in the stands, though. I don't want them rest to think. I'm really bad. I really be trying to explain to them in the fans. Some, I mean, the stands sometimes. Like, mm -hmm. y'all gotta understand, this is 
this is the rule. Right, right, right. Like, you know what I mean? Not a Doug Grange right there. Right, (laughs) this ain't that. (laughs) And he was right. The ref was right. (laughs) Fans is partial, though. Right. Fans well, is always going to be partial. True. Coaches is going to be partial. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm guilty. That's, that's just part of the game. You there for a reason. Guilty. You want your team there, yes, I mean. But at the end of the day, I you, ain't admitting that guilty, I'm guilty. Yes, oh, oh, whoa. Guilty too. You we guilty, all get, we you all guilty. partial, man. I, nah, I know how you come. I just don't want my girl's feelings to be hurt. Right. So oh, girl. Uh, <laughs> I don't want mean. my girl's feelings to be hurt. So I argue with the ref so my girl's feelings don't be hurt. That's a whole other ball game. Sounds good to me. <laughs> y- young females definitely get a sign. You can move up mm. fast. Females can move up yes, really, really fast. Always, yeah, young females. I'm going to start pushing that. Females yeah, yeah, can move up fast. Because if, if I wasn't on top age, I might take the class. Right, yeah, right. Females can move up quick because they're running up and down the court. Yeah. Right now, you know, you know, female basketball is emotional. Way my life yeah, instead of yeah, yeah. True. some female, of my craziest yeah. moments have been in, f- in female true, games, like true. brawls, like, right, 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 and right. it's just emotions. Right, ain't emotions. nothing even happened. Yeah. Right, right, right. You right, just right. mash, you score, <laughs> and it jumps off. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It jumps yeah, off. I don't know. I've never fought at a game. Yeah, female basketball. I man. cried on TV. We used to, our game used to be on TV. Okay. Channel two on oh, yeah. cable. Channel yeah. Two. Telling our age when yeah. it's all good. That's uh that's the Garden State now. Yeah. yeah. I was around yeah. for the sale end of that. Yeah. 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 Every kid in the high game yeah. was yeah. on that joint. Yeah. And then they would replay it on the the school the channel. School channel. channel. Yeah. 19. 19. Yeah. Channel 19. Yeah. Channel 19. Yeah. Yeah. 19. Shoot, yeah, the homecoming saying. pageant was on 19. Oh, yeah, they used to play all that. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. I remember Bring that, that back. Our kids need to see themselves <laughs> on TV. Is if any administrator out here watching Think about bringing that back. Our yeah, kids need to see themselves on TV. District, district I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They play, they play our kids need to. Yeah, everything. Everything. Right. Everything My little brother was on there. The Science Fair yeah. Forest Hill. That's yeah. crazy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's Let's bring that back. Our kids need to see themselves on TV because it make them strive to be a little yeah. better. Definitely. Definitely. Well, Definitely. Before we get out of here, Todd, just let the people know where they can find you. You know what I'm saying? What you have got going on, continue to have going on real quick, just, you know, you can give your handles and all that, you know what I'm saying? You can find me on Instagram, Taj underscore Hill underscore Hoops underscore merch, open runs, whatever y'all want to do. Working on Philly vs. Jersey, just reached out to some Philly cast today, it's going down in a couple weeks. Block, get ready, Block. They <laughs> coming for your head, Block. They said you ain't the king no more. Yeah, my son is still the king. They said you ain't the king no more. Aaron, block. you're still the king, baby. Shout out the Block. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so Shout out yeah the Philly block. boys That's want smoke. We're going to make it happen. That's what's up. We take it all smoke. Yeah, he, we done showed them down the highway <laughs> when you was down in the um, Atlantic County. We take it all smoke. There we go. Yep. Definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. And real quick on that note. I know we brought them out in part one. Got to show these Camden High exclusive, Taj Hill exclusive. Mm-hmm. All right. So if you want to get, you know, my all my 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 uh, uh, Camden High graduates, if you need these Camden High shorts, you know what I'm saying? Bid him up. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll put them on for you guys so you'll know how great they look. <laughs> and then and they're silky. So um, you know, you'll be able to hit him up. Definitely, definitely hit him up. You know what I'm saying? Up. So you can get that merch he has. I got a couple pairs of these things. Got so new, new, got ba- new batch on new the way. Batch. New I batch here the 15th. I saw that on your page the, the other 15th. day. I, ju- I just got my confirmation. The 15th, they'll be here. So, They're like so ten, 10 new up. styles and also got a um a breast cancer style too mm. where 10% of the proceeds go towards breast cancer. Oh. oh my God! See, you don't even know this. This is what we talk about. I'm, we we might have to talk. You might have to get some you know suicide saying? awareness. Ten percent go to. You know, what I mean, we got we got to work some out. Give me a we'll talk I mean, time. I mean, we'll I mean, get. I put eighty five on. Them. Yeah, you already know. Oh, that's what's up. That's All right, what's up. that's what's up. Any uh, shout outs before we get out of here? Shout out to my city, man. Shout out to Camden. Thanks. Shout out to Donnie Polk. Shout out to Thanks. Vic. Shout out to all those who came before me, who showed me the way. I'm trying to put on for the city, man. I know that's I love right. y'all, man. That's Thank y'all for sure. having me too. Oh, man. Thank, you. Thank you for I'm coming. You we appreciate it. Thank you for the yes, once again. Um, cousin, before you give your shout outs, talk about what's going on Saturday. Saturday, <laughs> October 9th. Regist- uh, well, now, report time is 9 30. The walk is at 10 a.m. We will be doing Daylight Foundation. We'll be supporting Out of the Darkness Walk at Cooper River. This Saturday, October 9th at 10 a.m., we'll be walking to bring awareness to suicide prevention and also mental health. So please, if you would like to, come out, show your support. We have Daylight Merchandise on sale. On part one, you may have seen the shirt that I had on. It's the Daylight Foundation um, shirt. Even if you don't want to purchase any merchandise, please show up in your green and your yellow. 
to show support for my son and our organization so we can continue to change the stigma and bring um, change the narrative and bring awareness to suicide prevention and mental health as it appears in our community and what it looks like for the black and brown. So again, that's October 9th at 10 a.m. at Cooper River Park. We'll be on the lower end, well, top end, closer to Cuthbert Boulevard. It's called the Vista Deck. That's where we're checking in at. We'll be there. My team will be there. Hope to see you there on Saturday morning. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, on that note, you know, I don't really have any shout outs. Once again, I want to thank my man Taj for coming through. Always big ups to you, cousin. You know, I love the death out of you. Thank you for, uh, you know, helping me out with the Birdcage show. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank all my viewers out there, our viewers, I should say. You know what I'm saying? Please continue to support. Please spread the word. Please tell your friends and family to check out the show. And not only check out the show, but make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Especially with the subscription, you know what I'm saying? You'll get the, no the notifications when all the shows are coming out. You can watch the past episodes and things like that. So I just want to shout out all my, you know, followers. And I'm going to shout out Antoine once again because probably if AM University, please check out AM University as well. Definitely. If, AM, if he didn't start AM University, his show, we probably wouldn't have started the Bird Cage yes, show. My, my so shout out to uh, Antoine. And congrats because he just became the head coach down at a uh, basketball coach. Kip Academy. So oh, yeah. Shout, shout out yeah. to Yeah, congratulations to Antoine. My, uh, coaching tree. That's yes, right. Yes, That's yes, right. Sir, the yes, coaching sir. tree is growing. Um, but before we get out of here, for the, all the supporters, for Cousin Tracy, I need you to comment about how um, uh, I'm not getting pizza um, and I'm not getting um, the birdcage <laughs> prototype <laughs> merchandise. That's tough. I like that. Um, at the end of the day, I may be quitting. So I need you guys to comment. Because um, it ain't. It's only been one pizza since I've been here, and this is episode twenty-three. I'm in my Jordan year. Couldn't even get a pizza for that, and then I didn't get this. So, comment and let um Mr. Bird, Coach Bird, understand how important his co-host is. Love y'all. We, we're gonna turn that to some shorts too. We're gonna. Ah, that's we, what's up. We're gonna that's do something up. with that logo. That's too. what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well. Mm -hmm. Once again, I'm Setuayo, a.k.a. Case Bird. I'm the host of the Bird Case Show, and we'll talk to you soon. It was a stone groove, my man.